David R. Guttery is an investment advisory representative of Emeritus Investment Corporation and president of Keystone Financial Group in Trustville, Alabama. Please stay tuned through the end of the video for additional important disclosure information. Today I'm joined by David Guttery, president of Keystone Financial Group in Trustville, for a discussion about mutual funds and exchange traded funds. Hi David, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. David, you make use of both mutual funds and exchange traded funds within plans that you manage. Can you explain how these investment function and in what ways are they both similar and different? Absolutely. A mutual fund is an organization designed to pool the assets of many investors to achieve a common purpose. Mutual funds are actively managed on a daily basis and offer shareholders a greater opportunity to diversify from within one pooled security. When investors make use of mutual funds, they are hiring the manager of that fund to do the day-to-day -day dispassionate trading for them rather than trying to manage the asset on their own. Exchange-traded funds, also known as ETFs, are structured to track an underlying index in an attempt to mirror the performance of that index. With indexed ETFs, the portfolio is static with passive management. There is no active management of the assets within the portfolio. There are some actively managed ETFs, however, that do offer the management expertise of a mutual fund. There is a difference in how shares of mutual funds and ETFs are traded as well, right? Yes. Mutual funds are priced as of the close of the market while ETFs are traded as general securities. A client may place an order to sell shares of a mutual fund in the middle of the day, but we will not know what price he receives on that order until the mutual fund is valued after the close of the market. Exchange traded funds, however, are traded and priced immediately throughout the day as orders are received. Are there advantages to using one instead of the other? Passively managed static ETFs are generally more tax efficient than actively traded ETFs or mutual funds. For those seeking to minimize the impact of taxation due upon reinvestment activity, this might be a compelling distinction. However, for those seeking dispassionate professional management over a static passive approach, then the mutual fund option may be more appealing. The growth potential of a mutual fund versus an ETF having the same investment objective should be similar, but such will also be a function of how the assets are allocated by economic exposure, concentration, and the internal expenses of the fund or ETF. Generally, ETFs are less expensive. However, that's primarily due to the absence of active management. The expense structure and ratio of mutual funds can vary, but in general, they come with higher expenses because they are actively managed. ETFs also generally impose no minimum purchase requirements, while many mutual funds have a minimum to purchase amount that can range from $250 to $5,000 for retail shares. So it sounds like a given client's objective will be that which drives the decision to hold mutual funds or ETFs then, correct? Absolutely. These are tools and they offer distinctive sets of competencies. My job is to help clients by bringing the correct tool to the task at hand. For some it's tax efficiency, for some it's trading flexibility, and for others it's more about professional management over time. While there are differences between mutual funds and ETFs, they are both uniquely suited to perform the task for which they were designed. Neither ETFs nor mutual funds are cast from the same mold. There are some good ones, and there are some not so good ones out there. I would be happy to meet with anyone who would like to have a portfolio review in light of their objectives to make sure that we're on track to accomplish your goals. Thank you, David. For additional information, David may be reached through the means listed upon the following screen. For the Trustful Tribune, I'm Tana Friday. David R. Guttery independently offers securities and investment advisory services through Emeritus Investment Corporation, member FINRA and SIPC. 
AIC and Keystone Financial Group are not affiliated. Additional products and services may be available through David R. Guttery or Keystone Financial Group that are not offered through AIC. Some of the products and concepts discussed have their own cost and are subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. These costs and risks will be thoroughly discussed with you prior to any recommendation or solicitation. Past performance is no guarantee of future results.